What is up, my friends? And good morning to you all. Happy Thursday. Yes, I know this is a little bit different for my um, routine, but there is a very good reason for it. We are at Aldi this morning, and it's Wednesday morning, so that means that they've got some new sales out this morning, some new Aldi finds. I'm so excited to go back in here. I always love going in here. I feel like I'm always treasure hunting. Do you guys ever feel like that whenever you like look at the Aldi ad and you're like, oh, I want that, I want that, I want that, I want that. Sometimes you find it and sometimes you don't, you know? But first, before we go in, I want to share with you guys my sweet friend Courtney over at Courtney Danielle. Most of you guys are probably pretty much already familiar with Courtney because I'm obsessed with her channel and talk about it like just about in every video. But if you're not, this is my friend Courtney. Her channel, like I said, is Courtney Danielle. She is a mom to three young boys. They are so sweet and precious. And she has a fiance, Josh, and she shares pretty much similar content to mine. Grocery hauls, lifestyle, motherhood, the real stuff. The stuff that you want to see to make your life feel normal like mine. Like, you know, like I share here. So I figure you guys will really love her if you're not already subscribed. Go over and check out her grocery haul video. It'll be down in my description box below. I believe she said she's going to go to Sam's Club. And she's, she also does shop with me too, so you can get a good idea of what's in the store over on her channel as well. And make sure you subscribe to her channel. Make sure that you let her know I sent you over and just show her some love. I just love her channel. And if you're coming over from Courtney's channel, hello and welcome. My name is Jennifer. Let me just introduce myself real quick. I'm a mom to three. I have two boys and a little girl, and I'm married to my husband, Jeff, for 21 years, 22 years. It all runs together after 10. So, <laughs> no big deal. But anyway, I'm a stay-at-home mom and live in North Carolina. And I would love to have you here. If you're coming over for Courtney's channel, like I said, we do share similar content. Motherhood, lifestyle, shopping. I do add a little bit of cooking in here and there because I like to, you know, sh share with you guys like real life meals and stuff. Instead of like this gourmet stuff, we don't make all that gourmet stuff. It's pretty, but we ain't got time for that. <laughs> we ain't got time for that. Mac and cheese it is most night. No, I'm kidding. But anyway, all right, we're going to go into Aldi. I'm doing a shop with me today. I'm hoping and praying that I can find some really good stuff in there. And also the main reason I'm here is for milk because I don't know if Walmart's milk has got their act together or not. But for a long time, I would buy Walmart milk and it would like taste terrible and smell terrible. And like Hayden, it, Hayden would notice it right away. So. We gotta get milk here, so of course I gotta go look through the Aldi finds and the, all the new stuff is like, okay, that's enough rambling. Let's go on into the store. Lord have mercy, please let the, oh, yep, there's a quarter. Right next to the McDonald's French fry. Lord, I need to clean that. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Audi, please do me right today. And away we go. Ooh, they got these gazebos in for one of their Audi finds this week. I bought one here last year on clearance for like a hundred dollars. I think these are like two something. They got this rattan conversation set here. That would look really good in my car, in my carport. I like to sit in my carport, but I don't have anywhere to sit out there, so I need something. First time I'm seeing these Mary's Gone Crackers. They are gluten-free, organic, plant-based, and provide protein. These are cookie thins right here. I didn't see these last time. And they look really good. I bet you they're nice and crunchy. Aldi's has a ton of bread and bakery selections here, but let me tell you guys, their sourdough is banging. It is so good. Well, I tell you about the sourdough, and then they don't even have it in stock. Sorry, but if you can find it, Aldi is so good. It's already sliced and everything. My neighbor recently had to go um, keto, or not keto, but like, what is it? Gluten free. So like all this stuff catches my eyes now. Kevin's mashed cauliflower. Holly mac and cheese. Oh, there you go. Holly mac and cheese here. I've noticed Lunchables has changed their packaging. Oh my God, they got the lava cakes back. Oh, these are so good, y'all. They got caramel and chocolates. And I think I'm gonna get one. Jeff 
and I love these. They've got a Chobani Flip new flavor over here, Pumpkin Harvest Crisp. Stias, Stias. Pumpkin Spice, uh, whatever cheese. I'll let y'all decide what you want to call it. But it's cute because it's in the shape of a pumpkin. Transylvania Hard Cheese. They've also got this one that is soaked in red wine. I bet you that is like, oh, so rich. Ooh, what we got here? What we got here? We got some pumpkin spice coconut whip topping. Okay. Now that sounds good. Oh my God, I could eat that whole thing, y'all. I'm so hungry this morning. Why did I come in here hungry? $6.95 for this. Okay, so I went to Ingles the other day and they had the Cheesecake Factory. It looked just like this and it was like $25. I'm sure it's $25 worth of goodness, but I just can't, y'all. Why is cheesecake so hot? <laughs> and they've got the Halloween edition orange cream Danimal smoothies here. They've got their holiday storage baggies here for when you're ready to give out your bacon stuff. Just bring some on over to my house while you're at it. And they also have the little plastic containers with the winter theme on them. All right, let's take a little walk down the Isle of Shame, shall we? The first thing I'm seeing are these cute little gnomes. I love them. $24.99 for those. And then the little woodland creatures, the little woodland creatures there are $8.99. They've got some mini wreaths for $8.99. Those are cute. Oh, look at those Christmassy looking throw, winter. I guess those are winter themed <laughs> throws. Very cute. There's what one of them looks like. And then, ooh, I like that one. They've got this cheese board with inset knives. Now that is neat. That would be a neat little gift. Check out this spice spinner. It rotates in your cabinet. It is $19.99. It holds up to 40 spices and condiments. It's pretty cool. I don't know how much this is, but check out this socket shelf. Got sockets all around and a little shelf on top. That'd be cool for like charging your phone and stuff. Anybody need a pole socks? <laughs> They've got the spin mop dupe here. I know it's upside down, sorry. But I wonder how those do compare to the O Cedar ones, and they also have the little refills here. The mop is $19.99, and the refills it comes with, I think, I think, I think, I think $2.6.99. Oh, oh, they ripping off Crocs. They done it again. I ain't gonna lie, I kind of want some of them. <laughs> that looks so cozy. It's a ladies' Sherpa fleece pullover in different colors, as you can see there, for $12.99. Get a good look at it there. Got some men's sleep pants up here for $8.99. Ooh, that looks cozy. $14.99. Two piece pajama set. Looks like it's Halloween thing. Yep. What is this? A wooden bar cart. And it's $89.99. Ooh, I love those signs. $14.99. They are reversible. They've got these motion sensing LED lights here, as well as some stream lights for outdoors, it looks like. We got these instant canopies here for your tailgating parties. $79.99. I love these stainless steel trash cans. They're $49.99. They've got these spice grinders here, um, gar garlic and herb, and Italian herbs. I don't know if there's any different ones. Looks like that's the only two options they have, but those look like they would be so good. I can't get over how calm it is in here this morning. I say that every time I come, like Wednesday, I thought it would be like crazy, but it's calm. These woven baskets just caught my eye. Uh, it looks like you get a two pack of the small ones and then they also have larger ones are $9.99. Oh, I love the faux plant there. That's really cute. $24.99. I 
they've marked down this cooling weighted blanket. It's um, a kid's apparently. It's five pounds. I don't know how big it is. 36 by 48. It's marked down to 12.49 now. Ooh, they got a football tablecloth. Look at that, 3.49. They got a microfiber sheet set here. It's a queen. They've got queen. <laughs> I don't know if they've got any other sizes. No, just queen. Just queen. They're $17.99. This is a collapsible zip storage box. Um, I guess you can see this is how big it gets. And this is obviously what it looks like now. But it's $7.99 for one of them. They've marked down these a versatile baskets here. <laughs> to 1129. I love these candle pedestals. Oh, they're heavy. 12 uh they're 1299. It's a little high for my blood, but okay. These ceramic pumpkins are so cute. They're 999. Got different styles here. I love these type of dishcloths. They have the scrubbers on one side. These this is a four pack for 299. Or you can get a four pack of bar mop kitchen towels. If your dog is into pumpkin spice, boy, they got you taken care of right here. They got some pumpkin spice. Wait a minute, pumpkin and spice latte biscuits. <laughs> okay. They've got these LED puck lights for $14.99. That's a really good idea for like dark closets and things like that. Those are neat. How do they operate? I guess batteries, huh? Um, oh my God. You need 15, 15 AAA batteries. It uses 96 batteries. <laughs> what? So, I came here last week. I snuck in here. You guys didn't see me. But they finally marked down the mesh organizers to $8.49. And they only have one left. I got four of them. Three of them. Three of them? Yeah, I got three of them when I was here. One for my bathroom and two for my kitchen. And they're great. They're great. They're doing really good. These little um, bites are so good. I like the broccoli the best. But they have sweet potato. And they also... Oh, whoops. They also have... Spinach here, but they're $4.99. They're really, really good, and you know, they're good for you, I guess. I wonder if that'd be any good. Y'all know how I feel about shepherd's pie now. I love me some shepherd's pie. Ooh, what is this? $9.99 cheesecake bites. Oh, yes. That sounds so good. Yeah, I don't really know if this looks all that great to me, but for you guys on special diets. They have some peanut butter non-dairy frozen dessert bars here. <sighs> Maybe I'm just not in the mood for uh, peanut butter right now. Oh, here, hold on a minute. Hold on. They also have caramel and raspberry. <laughs> also, they have turkeys here at Aldi for $1.59 a pound right now. Have you guys heard of Baker's Joy? It's like the baking spray with the flour built in. Oh, Aldi has their own. Did you guys know that? They've got this cute little display here of Christmas baking essentials, cupcake liners, cookie cutters, and little treat bags here. They're $1.39. They've got this cute little cheese pairing spread set. The flavors are pear and cinnamon, apricot and cumin, fig and honey, and cherry and rosemary. Y'all check out these muffins, apple cinnamon, and pumpkin spice. Oh, that looks so good. And last thing, I'm on my way out the door, but I just came across these cinnamon cream cheese bites. And they also have the pumpkin cream cheese bites as well. Time to go. So we're all finished up in Aldi and I'm back in the car. When I get home, I'll take everything out and show you what I got. It wasn't a lot because you know I like to just pilfer around in there more than anything. But I did pick up these. They are dark chocolate espresso beans. And I want one right now. So I was like, you know, I'll just... Do a taste test for you guys. Oh, they smell so good. It smells like Starbucks in there. 
All right, we're gonna try these out. Are you supposed to suck on it or chew it? I'm afraid to bite into it. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. Mmm. Chocolate and coffee. Mmm. I might have to hide these. They were $3.49. You know what? That would be a good little, um, like, item to put in a gift basket for Christmas or something, too. Those are really good. Yes. Glad I got them. Okay. Heading home. All right. Tiny baby haul. $24.58. But I have to go by Aldi for a couple of things every time. And one of those things are these baby food pouches for Stevie and Harrison. I feel like so many times we're just in a hurry and we're just trying to hurry up and get something to eat. And a lot of times we don't get in their fruits and vegetables. And so like, if I have these on hand, I just, I feel better. Like I feel like I'm at least trying to get some fruits and vegetables in them. So I like these because they have the little see-through pouch in there. You can make sure that, you know, there's no mold growing. And then I always check the dates on them every time because I'm just paranoid that I'm going to pick up some that are out of date but this is one of my must-have items from Aldi every single time I go there and of course I already showed you the espresso beans those are so good and then these are one of my favorite things that Aldi has um every once in a while too they're the caramel chocolate lava cakes if you guys have ever had the lava cake from Chili's very comparable especially you get the one with chocolate on the inside but we like the one with caramel with some ice cream on there and some whipped topping and then go into a diabetic coma but that, it'll be worth it i'm kidding i got some broccoli because i don't know if you guys noticed on my last grocery haul i'd ordered three little crowns of broccoli and that's what i got was three little crowns of broccoli the dress was no, it wasn't. This is not gonna be enough to feed us. So I went ahead and picked up some more because we're making a recipe tonight that I need to roast some broccoli for. And then, of course, last but not least, my other must-have item from Aldi is their milk. And I picked up somebody's little germ. I know you guys can probably hear that I'm a little congested. I feel like I have like a clothespin on my nose because I'm talking so nasally. But that time of year isn't it so anyway thank y'all so much for being here i hope you enjoyed it if so make sure to give me a thumbs up down below please make sure to go check out courtney's video for today that will be linked down in my description box and i'll see you guys in the next video i hope y'all enjoyed the rest of your week bye y'all